Hello, and welcome to Tech Cubicle on SAP. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 reasons to upgrade HANA 2 SPS 5 to SPS 7 now. We all know that HANA 2 SPS 5 got the full lifecycle support extension until the 31st of December 2025. That's next year, in case you've been on a long holiday. So there's no rush to upgrade to SPS 7. Remember, SPS 6 is out of support since 31st of December 2023, which is last year. So why would you want to upgrade to SPS 7 right now? Well, here are 10 reasons why you will benefit. Reason number one, System D integration. In SPS 7, the instance agent can be integrated with the Linux System D service to allow Linux level control of the startup of SAP HANA. Combined with an S for HANA application stack on the same server, it would allow you to set the specific startup order and allow HANA to be started with the operating system. No custom scripting required. See SAP Note 3189534 for more details. Reason number two. File I.O. throttle. Starting from SPS 6, it is now possible to restrict I.O. bandwidth for file level operations such as backup. This is useful if you have an MDC system and would like to control the allocation of I.O. between one or more HANA database tenants or services. A set of new parameters are in the file I.O. section of the relevant service any file and end with the suffix underscore throughput. Reason number three, or three if you're European. Exporting table data direct to cloud. Starting from SPS 6, data can be exported and imported directly to from cloud storage such as Azure Storage Account, Amazon S3 or Google Cloud Storage. This is really more useful for those HANA native application scenarios, but it could be used as a method of getting data into a cloud hosted data lake in a one time full export, for example. Reason number four, backup compression. HANA database backups can now be compressed. This has obvious benefits to backup storage, network transfer speeds, and the reverse operation of restore will also benefit. When restoring, HANA knows that a backup was compressed and handles it accordingly. Number five, backup customer config. In a HANA system, customer specific configuration is stored in the INI files at the file system level. The backup and restore commands can now be specified with an additional parameter to include the configuration files. Backups that include the configuration are noted in the M backup catalog files view in the new configuration underscore included column. This will save time restoring an entire system from backup as the full configuration can be included. This is especially useful in DR situations where you don't want to be reconfiguring the system after a restore. Reason number six, log backup fallback. On my previous video, I'll put a link above here somewhere, I mentioned how I have seen problems from third-party backup tools failing and causing HANA database transaction log segment volumes to fill up. Well, this new option allows an additional fallback option that ensures that log backups continue to a specified local disk area if the third-party tool fails. Reason number seven, integrity check of third-party backups. The HDB Backup Check utility can now also check the integrity of backups made with third-party tools. No longer any need to restore them to disk first. You just run the utility and it does the check. Reason number eight, retain backups. Before HANA database backups would be overwritten if they had the same prefix in the full name. Now a new setting can be changed to prevent them being overwritten. This has some obvious benefits. Reason number Nine, database copy using mixed backup sources. When copying a HANA database, you can now use backups from multiple sources, especially useful if you have full backups on third-party backup tools and logs have been sent to disk due to issues, see item six above, for a scenario where this can happen. Therefore, you can see that SAP sort of had to introduce this change to give this feature, really. Reason 10, NSE improvements and recommendations. A number of new improvements for the HANA NSE or Native Storage Extension feature. In SPS 7, the statistics server column tables are supported to be moved to NSE. The paging function of NSE would certainly help offload some of those expensive column table operations for statistics tables. There you have it. 10 features that will benefit you if you upgrade to SPS 7 now. Out of those, the new backup features have some really exciting changes that should reduce effort and allow you to provide a more resilient environment to your customer. 
Bear in mind that HANA SPS 7 may need an upgrade to the operating system due to glibc requirements. As always, reference links are in the description, drop me a comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and remember, always wash your hands after leaving the cubicle. Bye bye.